This tutorial is to walk you through Script Pro Go Live Producers View. Script Pro allows for event scripts to be executed live, allowing for real time changes and time stamping. We will go over the Go Live area, configuring the Producers View, the Quick Edit functions, searching for elements, time stamping an element, using the Stopwatch function, and editing details as you go. As a reminder, in order to view a production schedule and go live, the status has to be set to ready. To do so, be sure to enter the production schedule, then click Show Details. Under the Main Info tab, make sure the Ready box is checked and the Complete box is unchecked. Then click Save. To execute the script in Go Live, Click the Go Live icon at the top of the screen. This will pull up all production schedules that have the status as ready. To start, select the game in the list. For this tutorial, we will go over the producer's view. This view should be accessed by the staff member that is calling the shots and is in charge of executing any changes to the script. Perspectives 1, 2, 3, and 4 are covered in another tutorial. To enter the producer's view, click the button on the far right. This will take you to a view that is different from the first four perspectives of Go Live and that it is missing the viewer section and is strictly columns. If this is your first time entering the view, you will only see a couple columns set up. If that is the case, you will need to set up the view to show the information that you wish to see. Start by clicking the Columns button at the top left-hand corner of the screen. This will pull up the column setting with a variety of different checkboxes. These boxes represent the fields you filled in when building each element along the additional timing options. Check the fields you wish to view as columns. Be sure to include the Done column so you can complete elements and move through the flow of the event. As a producer, you will want to see as much information as possible, so do not shy away from checking more than you think. The view can always be scaled down later to fit your needs. When you are done, click Save Settings. The columns will now show in the view. Resize and rearrange the columns as needed. Now that the view is set up, you are now ready to execute the script live. Within the producer's view, you have a variety of options for making changes to the script in real time. You can search, move, edit, add, remove, ignore, notify, and timestamp elements. All changes that you make are auto-updated in real time for everyone that is logged into the game and has internet access. Be sure those who are in Go Live perspectives 1 through 4 have the auto scroll box checked, ensuring they are always following along with the game and do not have to worry about scrolling. To move an element or elements, you have two options, drag and dropping or cutting and pasting. Dragging and dropping works best when moving elements short distances. Start by clicking and holding, then dragging and dropping the element to the new location. Cutting and pasting works best if you have to move an element or multiple elements far down a script. Select or hold on to the control key and multi-select the elements you wish to move in the order that you want them to be placed. Next, hit the cut button at the top of the screen. Scroll to the location you wish to drop the elements and click where you want it to go. Decide if you want them to go before or after the element selected and then click the corresponding button. The elements will now be located in their new spot. Another key feature for moving elements is the Make Current button. This immediately moves an element that you select to be the current element that needs to be executed. To do so, find the element you wish to make current. Click it, then click the Make Current button at the top of the screen. The element will now go to the top of the list and will be highlighted green. To edit a specific element, click the element, find the field you would like to edit, type up the edit, then click Save to Bucket. 
To add an element that was not previously in the production schedule, click the Elements button at the top left hand corner. This will take you to the bucket for the game. To view the well element, click the Show Well button. To add the element, click and hold, then drag and drop the element to the location you would like it to happen. When done, exit out of the production bucket or well view. To remove an element, click and hold the element, then drag and drop it into the trash can at the top of the screen. To ignore an element, click the element, then locate the ignore button in the quick edit drop down. You can also ignore elements by opening the element and then checking the ignore box at the top of the window and clicking save to bucket. Ignore elements will have a red line through them ensuring they will be skipped over. To unignore, follow the same process but instead click the unignore button in the quick edit window or uncheck the ignore box in the element editor. To notify your staff of a change to an element, click the element, then check the notify box at the top of the window and save. The element will now have an exclamation point graphic next to the element name notifying your staff of the change. To remove the graphic, uncheck the notify box in the element. One of the other unique features in Go Live Producer's Perspective is the ability to search for an element in your script and jumping there. To do so, locate the search box at the top of the screen. Start typing the element you wish to locate. As you type, the system will filter down your options. Selecting the option will then jump you to that element. When moving through the flow of the game, you will auto timestamp elements as they happen. When an element is finished, be sure to check the Done button next to the element, or click the Done button in the Quick Edit drop-down when the element is selected. This will timestamp the element and move everyone who is logged into Go Live to the next element, ensuring your staff is on the same page. If you ever need to jump to the current element that you are on, be sure to click the green Current button. While running Go Live as a producer, you have the option to show a stopwatch to help you with any of your timing. To view, click Show Stopwatch at the top right hand corner. The stopwatch will appear in the middle of the screen but can be dragged to any location within the view. An option to set a countdown is also available by clicking the countdown button. To start the stopwatch or countdown, click the Run button. Click Hide Stopwatch to remove it from your view. As you go through the game, you may want to fill in various information regarding the event, such as attendance and other numbers. Be sure to click the Show Details button at the top right hand corner to enter those details in the corresponding tabs and fields. When the game is finished, be sure to check the Complete box under the Main Info tab. To hide, click Hide Details. After the game, you can now run proof of performance and recap reports in the Documents section. This will be covered in a future tutorial. Until next time.